Oh, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Juice87, back at it again. And today, I got a little announcement to make. I'm giving away this Super NES Classic. Are you interested? Well, here's how you can potentially win it on my channel. First, you gotta subscribe. Second, like this video. And third, leave a comment below of one of your favorite Super Nintendo games. Here's a list of all the games that are gonna be on the Super Nintendo Classic, plus the unreleased Star Fox 2. Again, if you're interested in this bad boy, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below of your favorite Super Nintendo game. At the end of the month, I'm gonna choose a lucky winner, and yeah, you won, boom, damn, wow, damn, yeah, yeah, uh, two. Enjoy the video, thanks, deuces, bye. He finally hit rank 10. Who finally hit rank 10? I'm on rank 8, bro. Is someone injured? Me? Me? Cass. We gotta play some PUBG together, bro. We gotta play that PUBG. DJ, what games do you play, bro? Tell me about what games you play, man. I know Fortnite, right? Back in the day, didn't you play with Danny a few times? No, I'm eight. Oh, did it? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I didn't even play those games. You know what to do, bro? I know what you're talking about now, Spinny. Or, uh, yeah. Mobby. Mobby. Uh oh. I'm about to silence it. Stop that momentum. Wow. Call me Squiddy now. <laughs> Look, man, it's been a long day for me, bro. A long day. My eyes all gooky eyes. All right, that fool got to die. But he doesn't die. Watch me out. That really hurts. Do this. Get him down to one. Ah, we should play the rover. What were we thinking? Ah! We can still kill that. We can still kill that. We still, we still gotta kill that. Yeah. Let's do that. Random question. What's your day job? I'm in marketing. I do marketing things. I uh, like build website, build digital strategies for businesses. My company that are, not my company, but the company I work for owns a bunch of businesses, so I focus on a lot of things like that. What about you? I just checked your profile and it says you play League of Legends. Are you trolling me right now? I thought you said you didn't play any games. Luigi, don't, don't, don't play with my emotions like that. Traffic engineer. Go on. What do you mean by traffic engineering? Hmm. Oh yeah, I played League like years ago. Oh, got it. That belongs in a museum. Oh, what a good! Come on, if you get anything, Doctor Boom, baby. That's something I'm proud of. <laughs> what? Why would you be proud of that? You know he's gonna attack it on one of these and kill it. Well, hold on. 
Oh, Tits McGee, ladies and gentlemen. Death Row, if you cast any skills on this minion, you summon it. Oh my goodness, this is. This is disgusting. I'm gonna do this. Traffic engineering is like evaluating a capability of roadways. So if there's a problem, they can call us and figure it out. Hmm. It's actually pretty unique and different. What are we gonna do, by the way? Okay, here we go. I gotta kill that. Uh, That's interesting. So you sit there, you evaluate like locations, all that other jazz. It's actually really freaking cool. It's actually really freaking cool. Shit, no. Right, we gotta do this. Okay, we gotta kill. I can kill one, eh? Kill one. Listen here. gonna be rough it's gonna be rough I am a director of marketing so I actually create digital strategies for like I mentioned um, the businesses that we own but I also do like Facebook advertising I have a couple of business blogs on Facebook um, I work a lot with third-party vendors things like that focuses on digital marketing on like traditional marketing um, you can really get double the ROI um, with, um, the hell is this guy doing with you know traditional or with digital marketing you get double the ROI than you do traditional marketing sorry I'm memorized by this freaking pre deck we're playing I haven't played anything like this before He's getting pulled on pulled. Okay, so there's a war path. You do five. All right, he's got to be low on run and roll on uh, resources here. We can dino medic next turn. You had to create an ad on Facebook to maximize. Interactions, what kind of strategy do you do? Give me a topic. Like, give me a business. It all depends on the business and what you're selling. It's too broad of a question. You're not going to get the answer you're looking for. So give me a scenario. A clothing company, okay? Banana Republic, perfect. 
So I would do actually multiple things with that. When we're looking at, this is a mech, oh, sorry, it's not a mech. So when we're looking at clothing, for instance, in Banana Republic, you want to create a couple different strategies. For Facebook, you want to do multiple things because Facebook gives you ability to do a lot of unique type of ads. You need to one, make sure there's a pixel added to your website for Banana Republic, which I'm sure there is. Um, two, actually, hold on. Let's see something real quick. Ooh, snip, snip. Hold, please. So once that pixel is added to your website, you need to do a few other things. You then take that that data that a pixel creates uh, collects on your website, and then it'll tell Facebook, okay, these many people were just on my website. Then you create what's called unique, dynamic ads for your inventory. What's the most important thing for businesses? Uh, like, oh, did we just lose? Probably. Oh, he's hitting us for 20. That's fine. We're not dead yet. So you create a, a dynamic inventory ad. Shit, this is going to be interesting. And that dynamic inventory ad is going to constantly show all your inventory to the people that came to your website. <clears throat> oh, I guess I had this too. By the way, I didn't have to do that. Shit, I might have just hurt myself. I think that was a move right there. So that's that's number one. You create a dynamic ad so your inventory is constantly being seen to by everybody who's come to your website that goes to Facebook. So that's the first part. The second part, what you want to do is you want to create some type of campaign that piques interest. Um, so you want to create what's called a lead generation ad. A lead generation ad gives the, the customer the ability to, to see the ad or whatever you want to make it, whether it's 50% off, 30% off, buy one, get one free, whatever it may be for that store, and submit their information right away with two clicks. Um, you also want to make sure it's optimized for mobile. So for instance, like if you go to your phone, I'm on my Facebook feed, I see a Banana Republic ad, it's like, hey, do you want to qualify to get this offer? Or hey, do you want this offer? Click submit your information now to receive 50% off. Then you're going to create that ad, and that ad, um, it, it collects all that information for the business. What's cool about Facebook is if your information is on your account, it automatically populates all the information for you in an Excel file on the back end of Facebook, but you have to create the strategy you know, based off of the goods you have. The number one thing for a business that's selling a good is its inventory no matter what. Automotive, it's cars. Clothing company, it's their clothes. So you wanna make sure your clothing is highlighted plain and simple. Dynamic ads are gonna get you the most interaction. And then these other type of ads are gonna build up that unique engagement. So you'll have your constant interaction from the dynamic ad because of people going to your website. So when they leave your website, they get retargeted on Facebook with material. I'm sure it happens to everybody. Um, I'm sure all of you have looked at something in, or talked about something and all of a sudden, holy shit, it's on my Facebook feed. Like, how the hell did you know that?